Hi, I'm Lucy from So Essential and I'm here today to share the latest Vogue pattern release with you. So I've picked out a few of my favourites and some gorgeous fabrics to pair them with. So many new fabrics on our website at the moment. Everything I talk about today is available on our lovely website and I'll pop, li pop links to all the products I mentioned below. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe because every Friday I bring you a video packed full of sewing goodness. If you can't wait a whole week, do jump on and check out our Instagram account as well where we share posts daily on the grid so I'm going to pick out my few favorites pair them with fabrics I think they would work really well with and then at the end of the video there is a slideshow of the full range as well so if I haven't picked out the patterns that you personally like do stay tuned for the slideshow at the end because you'll see the full range there so let's get started first of all with a gorgeous top pattern. I really like this design. It's Vogue 1824, which comes in sizes from an 8 to a 24. So the 8 is a 31 and a half bust, 24 waist and 33 and a half hip. And the 24 is a 46 bust, 39 waist and 48 hip. Um, really pretty blouse design. It's got a fold over collar so it's, it looks like a little turtleneck but it's described as a bias fold over collar and then out of the collar comes a ruffle which comes out on one side and then comes down the front of the blouse I just really like the way it sort of comes out of the collar on one side asymmetrically and then runs down the front of the blouse you can make a sleeveless version or you can make a long sleeve version and then the long sleeve version's got a really pretty sort of frill uh, trumpet sleeve um, cuff to it as well. So some really gorgeous design details. It's buttoned down at the back, so a little bit unusual there as well. Just, I think it would be a real ball to sew this. I think it would be lovely. I think it'd be lots of fun and just so much fun to wear as well. So the fabrics, it suggests a crepe, chalets, satins, those sorts of things. So the fabric I chose for that one is our John, no, no, I didn't. I chose that for a dress. I chose our satin backed crepe, which we've got in a number of different colors. Um, we've got black, we've got like a lovely royal blue. We've got a jade green. We've got some gold colors, a canary yellow. I think we might have some sort of red, um, but it's this beautiful, extremely fluid satin back crepe and you've got the shiny side if you like a bit of high shine and luxuriousness um, but if you prefer a matte finish there's all you can also use the other side um, which has still got a nice very subtle sheen to it but if you look at the movement on that it's just absolutely beautiful and I think that frill at the front the ruffle would work perfectly in that and I think it would just be a really spectacular blouse that you could wear for so many different occasions so that was my first choice my next choice is Vogue 1801 which is a gorgeous dress pattern it's got a loose fitting bodice with one of the uh, low V's that Vogue are renowned for. Easy enough to alter that neckline if you want to bring it up a little bit. Um, I have shared posts on my grid on Instagram about how to do this, but you can just taper a line, just draw a line that comes out from the pattern piece um, and tapers back up to where it started at the shoulder just to raise that V at the front if you want to so it's an easy enough fix if you if you don't like them as low as this um, it's got beautiful wide flutter sleeves and a, it looks like a fairly high waist almost not quite an empire line but a fairly high waist and then a flared skirt very floaty very fluid lots of fabric in the skirt by the looks of it um, it's got a raised waist yeah it says side front seam side pockets an invisible back zipper and a very and a baby hem it describes it as I think there's some sort of pleating on the bodice as well yeah there's a couple of pleats that come out of the waistline at the front to give you a bit of volume and shape at the front and then on the back as well there's pleating on the back bodice so a very pretty dress got the real wow factor that we know and love from Vogue and the fabrics they suggest for this 
one are uh, crepe back satin, rayon twills, broadcloth. So um, lots of fluid drapey fabrics again. And the satin back crepe I chose this time for this one is our John Caldor Mystique satin back crepe, which is a little got a little bit more weight to it than the other one that I just showed you. Not much. It's still got lots of fluidity and drape and movement it comes in a range of different colors again again you could use whichever side you prefer whether you want that matte side with a slight sheen or whether you want the high shine sort of satin side and i just thought this gorgeous burgundy color um would look beautiful made up into that dress and would be perfect for you know dare we dream of christmas party season and that sort of thing this year um i think it would work brilliantly for that and have the real wow factor the next pattern I chose, I really like this one. I think this is a really good release from Vogue, actually. Lots of things that I liked in here. Um, it's Vogue 1809, which is a reissue of a 1947 design. So a lovely vintage pattern and just some fantastic, unusual details here. I mean, if if you were around um, when these patterns first came out, probably won't be much of a surprise to you. But for me, um, I think, wow, I just love some of the ideas in this pattern. Pattern. So the bodice has got um, gathers just above the bust there and then there's a, what they call it a yoke it's like almost like a capelet that comes round across the front in like almost like a semicircle and goes round the back as well and then there's a little collar that comes out of that at the top so just really unusual design details I've not come across that before really like it um, there's also some either pleated i think it looks like some pleating on the bodice to give you a bit of shape there or tucks um but then also the sleeves are really light because you've got a long sleeve version which sort of billows out a little bit almost like a balloon sleeve that goes into a little cuff but also the short sleeve version is so pretty um it's a sleeve that sort of it's like a tulip sleeve i would describe it as um so another great design detail there just lots and lots of fun again to work with i think this pattern you know something really different and something very different to wear as well you're not going to see many people in a design like this so quite unique and original I think the other thing is it's got a definite nod to that big collar trend that we've seen recently which was a big trend this year so um, although it is a vintage design it's got that nod to those contemporary styles as well and the fabric I chose for that one is this beautiful John Caldor Hermione crepe fabric. Um, I just think that would work beautifully. I think it's almost got like a vintage sort of feel to it. The design, I don't know whether it's the prints um, or I don't know, but I thought the sort of ochre goldy colour was absolutely gorgeous for this time of year as well. And it's just such a lovely silky soft fabric. I think it would make a beautiful, beautiful blouse. So that was my choice for that one. Don't forget all of these are on our website. So do check out the links below. I've made it nice and easy for you to find everything by linking it all below. The next pattern is 1830, which runs in sizes from 8 to 24. And this is a sort of Chanel style jacket or, and some wide leg trousers, which you can either make cropped or full length. So again, the wide leg trousers have been huge this last year. And I'm sure we are moving away now from that sort of skinny jeans trend into that wide leg trend. Um, so very contemporary. And then the classic Chanel jacket, always great to have one of those in your wardrobe. Lots of fun to make. Um, Angela, my mother-in-law, who co-founded the business with my husband, she's made so many of these jackets. And we do, as a result, stock a lot of the tailoring products you need, the interfacings, um, things for the lapels and um, that sort of thing. So if you need any help with that, you can always drop us an email if you if you want to you know, purchase the stuff from us and you're not sure what to buy um but yeah i think a classic chanel jacket's always great to have in your wardrobe because it just looks so lovely thrown on with a pair of jeans but then obviously you can dress it up with a dress or a skirt as well so the fabric i chose for this one is one of our new suiting fabrics well suiting or coating and it's this sort of tweedy um fabric so it's got a loose weave 
and we've just got the most beautiful colorways in here again you know okay it's autumn winter but who says we need to ditch that colour? I think we need it even more in these months. So we've chosen these to add that nice bit of pop of colour to your wardrobe, but in a very, very subtle way as well. You know, I think this would go with lots and lots of things, be very, very wearable. So I'd be tempted to make that jacket up in that. Let me just sort that out and get that out of the way. Okay, so the next pattern I wanted to share with you is Vogue 1797, classic Vogue again, just classic, elegant, sophisticated, got the real wow factor, beautiful in its simplicity. I really like this dress, I think it's gorgeous. This one runs in an 8 to 24 as well. If, you, if you're unsure about any of the sizes, do just double check on our website because all the details will be there. Um, just think this would be a lot of fun to sew again so it's a classic shift dress shape however you've got a chevron that runs across the um bust at the front and then is mirrored on the back as well so that would be interesting and fun to sew you know you'd have to do a bit of precision sewing to get a nice sharp point there um and then it's there's a, a oh god box pleat <laughs> i didn't think i was going to be able to remember the name then there's a lovely big box pleat at the front and they've used a contrast fabric for the inside of the box pleat there um just looks absolutely gorgeous and to be honest i just thought the styling on the packet of the monochrome was absolutely spot on i think it works beautifully so i thought i would use our john caldor prestige crepe which is a beautiful high quality medium weight crepe we've got the black and we've got this ivory color um that you could use with it to recreate that look on the pattern packet and i think that would work wonderfully um and then finally the last pattern i wanted to share another one i love i think this is a great release from vogue this time um is 1802 so really quite an unusual dress i'm not um as keen on the full length version but the short version i absolutely love which it's like a trapeze dress so it's a very full um sort of loose silhouette it's got a lovely neck band at the top which then ties into a bow at the back and it's a really dramatic bow it's a long the um fabric comes down to the basically the hem at the back um on the short version so it's going to be a really dramatic big bow i'm looking at you esme from uh, the sewing bee i bet she'd love this design um so it's a pullover dress so you haven't got to do any um zips or anything like that i think it's probably got a button just to close a little keyhole closure at the top and then this big dramatic bow um there is the option for the full length version which has got a ruffled tiered panel on the bottom runs from sizes extra small which is a four to six to an xxl which is a 24 to 26 um and the fabrics it suggests linen blends crepes poplins that sort of thing well the fabric i chose that i think would work really well is this beautiful satin fabric i just think the short version of the dress is perfect for showing off a nice bold print and i just absolutely love this lady mcelroy satin print that we've got in stock i think that would just look absolutely gorgeous made up into that dress you might need to line it so there might be some some thought that needed to be put in there um but i do think that would work really well or you could use any of our satin back crepes um we've got lots of other options on the website as well but i just thought that print would be shown off beautifully as that dress and then before i wrap up i just wanted to mention as well last year or this year i can't remember i made this blouse in this linen viscose fabric it's the one where i added the little ruffle at the collar and a little ruffle on the yoke at the back and we couldn't get the fabric for absolutely ages well we finally managed to get it um again in a different color way so we were expecting the blue in but we got black instead but actually you can see it's got those same lovely popping colors it's just on a darker background and perfect i think for autumn winter so it is a linen viscose mix but i'm wearing mine and just layering with a cardigan if i need to on those colder days and it's just a fab way again to add a lovely pop of color to my winter wardrobe so i hope you've all enjoyed that today 
today. As I mentioned at the start of the video, everything I talk about is available on our website, so do check out those links below. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.